Hey all, welcome to another episode of RDJ Review. Today we are going to review Dragon Ball Z Figurize Standard and it's your badass villain in the anime world called Frieza. It's his final form basically and we will be looking into its quality, the experience of putting it together and also of course the value for money of this product. Now, I don't know about you but I am an avid fan of Dragon Ball Z. I remember coming home and turning on my television because it's Dragon Ball Z. And also, Frieza is such an iconic badass villain because before there was Majin Buu, before there was Cell, there was your badass boy Frieza who Son Goku fought and also it was also the first time, if I'm not mistaken, Son Goku was able to transform into a super saiyan form because he was fighting Frieza and this badass villain over here can destroy an entire planet so that's probably why I got this toy is because I really like Frieza in the anime you know he was so badass and he has so many forms so which was pretty cool so yeah let's go into reviewing reviewing this Toy. The Frieza definitely looks like the one in the box. I have to say I was very happy with the quality of the finished product. This is a photo that I took to compare to the photo that was advertised to the product. There is no mistaking as well that that is Frieza as it comes with some iconic power accessory such as the death ball which you can attach to its arm and also the death beam over here. Definitely happy with the quality on how it turned out. Now with regards to building it, if you do get instructions on how to build it, which was very straightforward. You do need the tools required such as a scalpel to tidy up the connecting edges, but if you ain't fussy about it, it still looks good even without the use of the tool. What I love about setting up Frieza is that I get to pedicure a badass villain. See? Frieza's here is feeling very sassy and dainty and everything and I get to paint on his toes over here. Let's do that. Color is purple your color, Frieza? I mean, where in the world would you hear that? I have done pedicure to Frieza. Frieza, do you like crypto gel? <laughs> Jokes aside, there are not a lot of stickers that needs to be placed in this product. Although I'm a bit concerned like that you do have stickers on his feet, but you don't have stickers for his fingers. So that's kind of like, uh, I don't know if this is like a manufacturing error or something, or I don't know if they really didn't include it. But I hope they would have put a sticker for his fingers as well. So that would complete the whole Frieza look. All the sticker works are like minor details and very easy to apply though and I was very happy with that. If you watch my Pokemon Play Mode number 29 Charmander collection, you can see there why I am not a fan of putting stickers on a product. Compared to that, I was very happy with the experience of putting Frieza all together. Now for 30 AUD, this is definitely a worth it Frieza figure, one to add to your Dragon Ball Z collection. It comes with two iconic Frieza powers, Death Ball and also the Death Beam. And you also get a uh, different facial expression, like one here. Uh, let's just zoom that in. Frieza being mischievous, like uh, he's smiling. And here, Frieza, where he's just smirking. And the fingers are changeable as well. It comes with the one that points towards uh, that you can attach the death beam or he can um, summon like a death ball in his finger just like Eugene I guess in Yu Hakushu or you can make his finger or his hand go like this it's like saying hi one moment don't move I'm gonna shoot you <laughs> and I like how you can make a lot of poses with Frieza because like what I said you do build this item and you can create tons of poses with this toy which I guess is worth it with a toy because you don't want just a one pose uh, figure basically you want to like edit it depends on your mood and depends on if you want to interact it with a uh, for example, Son Goku as well. Which, but yeah, you can definitely move his uh, feet. 
like make him do like uh, sit-ups over there so that he can get more bustier <laughs> since he has very big muscles you can also move his feet which is pretty amazing make him look like he's flying like in the anime you can also move its arm you can also do that do this and move his neck as well Overall, actually, I am very happy with this toy despite that there was no stickers for his fingers. I'll definitely give this toy a 4 out of 5 stars. I was very happy with the quality of it. It looks like Frieza. You definitely get your value for money here. As you can see, you can do several poses with this figure. And also, the stickers was just a minor detail. Like what I said, this Dragon Ball toy is definitely one for your collection. There you guys have it. Thank you very much for watching my review of Frieza. St uh, figure eye standard Dragon Ball Z basically from Bandai and click the like button if you like this video also comment on this video if you do have any questions that I may be able to answer I'm more than happy to answer that for you and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel Robin R. De Jesus for more video updates I will be posting video updates of toy reviews also some travel from Japan and also regarding sustainability as well so check that out also, be sure to check out the description of this video as I put some details there that I did not tackle in this video. And also, there are some links there to my Instagram account so that you can get updates as well on my upcoming videos to come. And there you guys have it. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Charge. Charge. Kamehameha!